Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be doing something slightly different. Um, we're going to be taking a look at every flight I've ever taken laid out on this map here. About a week ago I was scrolling through the comments on a few of my videos and I came across a comment saying I should make a public My Flight Radar 24 account. I know what Flight Radar 24 was, it's essentially a live tracking app and website where you can track every live flight around the world, but I didn't know what my Flight Radar 24 was, and so I checked it out, and this is actually pretty cool. It's essentially a website where you can log every single flight you've ever taken, and it'll lay it out on this map here and give you stats about all the flights you've ever taken. And I thought, um, you know what, I would make a video about this and show you guys because I didn't know what this was, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you won't really know what this is as well. Um, and you may be interested in making an account for yourself, so I figured I'd make this video just to share this with you guys and just take. A look at all the flights I've ever taken. So as you can see here we have a map of the world and these are all the flights um, I've taken. Um, as you can see you can go into depth here, you can zoom in and based on the colors you can see how many times I've flown each route. Um, so orange is the first color, orange means you've flown that route once. Um, then you get the red routes which you can see some of down here. Uh, that means you've flown it twice, so that essentially means, so for example this Hamburg flight here you can see um, I've flown from London Heathrow to Hamburg and then I've flown from Hamburg back so that just means I've flown a round trip to Hamburg basically. Then you start getting uh, this purplish color it's quite hard to see but for example um, you can probably see this one here which is uh, London to Keflavik I've flown that um, in total four times now um, so it's a slightly purplish red however it is pretty hard to distinguish between the two colors there. And then of course my most flown flight um, no surprises which this one is which is this black one here. Uh, this is between London and Washington Dulles. That is my most flown flight. And of course, we're gonna go through all the stats and everything about all these routes in a second. Um, but it's pretty cool to visualize on this map um, where um, all the flights I've taken have been. Um, it's pretty cool to see, and you can also switch between, of course, a regular um, uh, map image or the satellite mode, which you can see here. Uh, it just looks really cool, and you can see a lot of the flights I've taken. If we scroll down, you can see some of the stats here. You can see that I've taken 108 flights, uh, 47 of those being domestic and 61 of those being international. Uh, you can see that I've flown in total 187,260 one miles um, or 301,367 kilometers which equates to 0 0.00201 times to the sun or 7.5 times around the earth or I think there's a moon one as well uh, which equates to 0.78 times to the moon which is pretty cool just little stats like that make this a really interesting website and um, you can see here I've spent 426 hours and 35 minutes on an aircraft or 17.8 days or 0.58 months and again it cycles through all these different statistics and then here you can see my um, carbon footprint um, I've put 37.2 tons of CO2 into the atmosphere in the 20 years of flying um, that I've done I've put uh, 2.04 um, kilograms of methane into the atmosphere and 1.67 kilograms of nitrous oxide into the atmosphere as well which is uh, pretty interesting you can also sort this by year as well then down here you can see class you can see that primarily I've flown economy uh, 91 of my 108 flights have been with economy I've flown one premium economy flight which actually did surprise me I thought I'd flown more than that but no I've only ever flown once in uh, premium economy I've flown 14 uh, flights in business class and then technically I've flown two flights um, which were private flights however we're not talking you know g550 here we're just talking um a de havilland twin otter so it's not not anything special i just essentially couldn't really put it in any of these other um, sections technically it was a private flight even though it's not you know a proper private jet or anything so don't let that deceive you next along we have the seats now of course being obsessed with aviation and loving the views you get out the window um the majority of my flights have been in window seats 100 two um, of my 108 flights have been in a window seat. Um, I've flown three flights on the aisle and then I've only ever flown once um, in the middle seat which was on a LATAM 
uh, a LATAM A321 from uh, Sao Paulo to Campo Grande. Next along, of course, we have Reason. Um, I've only ever flown for leisure. Um, I've never flown for business and I've never, you know, been a crew member. So um, leisure is the only um, uh, reason for flying. Then next up here, of course, we have Continents. I've um, been to every inhabited continent on the Earth. So, of course, we've got 104 flights in Europe, 92 flights in North America, six flights in South America, six flights in Oceania, uh, six flights in Asia, and two flights in Africa. Next down here, you can see we have some of these kind of statistics in these bar graphs here. So as you can see here, we have top airports. I've flown through 51 total airports, and as you can see, no guesses as to what my two most uh, visited airports are. We have London Heathrow and Washington Dulles. Heathrow just beats out Washington Dulles by one flight. I've flown 42 times through Heathrow and 41 times um, through um, Dulles and then of course next up the big drop down to Frankfurt. I've flown eight times through Frank Frankfurt. We then have Gatwick, Southampton, Belfast, Sh uh, Charlotte, JFK, Boston, Cleveland, Reagan, uh, Dubai, um, Edinburgh, Sao Paulo, and so on and so forth. The next one here we have top airlines. I've flown with 27 different airlines and um, of course the majority of those being with British Airways. Um, I've flown 29 times with British Airways, 14 times with United, 9 times with Lufthansa, uh, 6 times with US Airways. So US Airways despite um, not existing anymore are still my fourth most flown airline and then of course we have American, Iceland Air, Emirates, uh, Orny and so on and so forth. But what's pretty interesting is as you can see, these are currently sorted by the amount of times you've flown with those airlines. But if you press this down here, you can sort it by distance. Uh, so this means this is now based on um, your top airlines, based on how far you've flown with those airlines. And you can see that now in fourth place is Emirates. Um, I've only ever flown four times with Emirates, but because those have been such long flights, Emirates has now jumped up to fourth place, which is pretty interesting. And US Airways, uh, which used to be up here, um, is now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Next up, you can see my top aircraft. So I've flown on 29 separate types of aircraft and based on the, uh, the amount of times I've flown with each aircraft, the Airbus A320 is in first place. I've flown the A320 15 times. Uh, second place is the A380. I've flown the A380 eight times. Uh, joint with the A380, we have the A330-300. Then we have the 747-400 with seven times. The 767-300, also seven. Uh, the 737-800, also seven. We have the CRJ200, um, the Q400, the A319, the CRJ-700, uh, the 777-200ER, the 777-300ER, uh, the Embraer uh, E190, the A350-900, the A321, the E145, the 737-900, the Twin Otter, the Embraer 175, and so on. We have the 757, the CRJ 900, the Dornier 228, the Embraer 195, and then we just have these aircraft which I've flown once, like the 787-8, the A220-300, 717, A340-600, ATR 42, and 747-8. But again, we can sort this by distance. So as you can see, um, the A320 is going to drop when we uh, press distance because although I've flown the A320 15 times, um, of course the A320 being a short haul aircraft, I haven't actually flown that aircraft for that long. Uh, so the A380 now jumps up to first place. Uh, we then have of course the A330, the 747 and the 767 in the top four places, which is pretty interesting. Next up we have the top routes and no surprises which are the top two routes. Um, the top route is of course Dallas to Heathrow and then second we have Heathrow to Dulles, uh, Frankfurt to Dulles, Dallas to Frankfurt, and then so on. We have Dallas to Charlotte, um, Keflavik to London Heathrow, and so on. And then the final stat here is top countries, and it's pretty much the same as continents. Um, we've got, of course, the UK and US joint, actually. I didn't know that. I've flown equally as much in the US as I have in the UK. And then we jump down to Germany. I've flown 12 times through Germany. And then the United Arab Emirates. And pretty much these are all joint after that. Spain, Canada, and Brazil. They're all joint in um, four flights, 
which is pretty interesting. Then if we scroll down again, you can see the amount of times per year I've flown. Uh, you can see the first kind of 10 years of my life, I didn't really fly that much. Of course, I was born in 2002. Um, I flew twice in 2003, and then after that, I didn't fly again until 2011. Um, I flew twice in 2011, three times in 2012, three times in 2013, eight times in 2014, nine times in 2015, 14 times in 2016, eight times in 2017, 19 times in 2018. 2018 still remains my most flown year, um, 18 times in 2019. Then of course it drops in 2020 to three times, eight times in 2021, 11 times in 2022, and I haven't yet flown in 2023, but I I'm going on a flight in two weeks time so that will change then next down here you can see we have the amount of times I've flown per month and you can see that July and August are primarily the two months I fly the most in um, but what's pretty interesting is in March I've never flown a commercial flight in the in the month of March which is um, you know without this website I would have never guessed that but I've never flown in March which is interesting then here we also have flights per weekday and for some reason i don't like flying on a thursday or a sunday um, but of course my most flown day is friday then here if we go over to flights you can see a log of every flight i've ever taken and this information has to be inputted manually um, so it's based on the information you can provide uh, so for example registrations um, i only really started collecting registrations maybe a year or two so uh, when you go further back on this list um, the registrations start to disappear. The same with flight numbers. I've never really kept track of the flight numbers of the flights I've taken. So of course those uh, are kind of um, blanked out here apart from the uh, ones I can provide, of course. As you can see, this goes all the way back to my first flight in 2003. Um, we have, of course, the date of the flight there. We have the flight number, which would go here. And we have the registration of the aircraft, of course, being 2003, being uh, just one years old. Um, I wasn't keeping track of the registration at one years old. I do apologize for that, but um, there we go. We have the uh, uh, the airport you flew from, the airport you flew to, uh, the miles of that flight, the departure time, the arrival time, the airline, uh, the aircraft, um, whether you had a window seat, an aisle seat, or a middle seat. Again, in 2003, um, I wasn't keeping track of this, so um, I've left these blank. Uh, we then have any notes that you would like to add to the flight. Um, there we have the class and we have the reason which is of course leisure for all of them but as you can see scrolling up from 2003 um, we have a lot of information that I've put in here and if I um, find any additional information about any of these flights whether it be registrations flight numbers arrival times departure times um, you can update this so of course I'll edit them and I'll add them in to keep this as up to date as possible but as you can see we get we're in kind of 2018 now and moving up of course as you can see I've started to fly business class a few times now um, and we're going up that's my only uh, premium economy uh, flight there on the Lufthansa 747-8 um, and then moving up we have of course business class again um, we have some pretty interesting aircraft and some airports um, and yeah, it leads us all the way up to my most recent flight, which was of course on the uh, British Airways A380 from Dallas to Heathrow GXLEF. Um, and of course that was in business class on BA flight 292. My account is a public account, so if you want to check this out yourself, um, you can go over to my channel, of course, and it'll be in the banner here next to my Instagram page. You can just click on this and it'll take you uh, to my page. As well as that, it will be linked in um, this video's description and, of course, in my about page on my channel. And again, you can also make your own accounts. Um, I will leave the main login page also linked in the description below so you can head over to this page and you can make your own account. And I love looking at these. So so I'm actually tempted to make another video soon where I kind of look at um, the My Flight Radar 24 pages that you guys um, have made. Uh, so if you do want to make an account, make one and then link it in the comments below. And again, I would love to make a video in a few weeks time looking at all the My Flight Radar 24 pages that you guys have sent me. But yeah, that is today's video. I know it's been a bit of a weird one, but I hope you guys have found this somewhat interesting and I look forward to seeing uh, what you guys create on my flight radar 24 and so yeah with that i want to thank you very much for watching today's video and i will see you in the next one bye